Hey, what's up? Hello, guys. It's Rayel, and I'm so excited because we are officially in Europe, and we're just walking. It's around 5 a.m. here because we're still kind of well, 5:30 because we're still kind of jet lag. And the views here are amazing, even though they're just easy hotels and buildings. But I'm so excited to take a look at the whole place. And we're just about to eat breakfast so that we can fill our stomachs up for the, with the adventure that's await us. So we just heard the chimes of Big Ben because Big Ben was our second stop. And we just saw a sign that Big Ben is actually a house of parliament and is one of the most iconic buildings in the world. And that kind of amazes me that they held things like for the Senate, politicians, and the government right here. So before we go to Westminster Abbey and the Churchill War Rooms, we're just taking a little short stop at St. James Park, which is part of Royal Park, and it's very green. And right in front of us, there's a really pretty fountain with all these rocks and birds, and there are a bunch of people jogging. And if I lived in London, this would definitely be the place to go. Going to the Churchill War Rooms and Westminster Abbey. We woke up a bit too early because of all of our jet lag, so it's not open yet and we can't view that. So we're just taking another little pit stop here at Buckingham Palace. So the Buckingham Palace is a place where the monarchs like Prince William and Queen Elizabeth live and they store their valuables, such as jewels, which is why the security here is very high so that none of their valuables get stolen. Don't dance, don't ask, I don't need a boyfriend So you can't go back, please enjoy your party, I'll be here Somewhere in the corner, under clouds of marijuana With this boy who's hot, but I can hardly So we're just having some snacks here near a fountain Near the National Gallery, which is right behind me And we just passed the Trafalgar Square and Piccadilly Road And there were so many amazing buildings, statues, fountains like this and there are these statues that were so cool. It showed so much history and it's so amazing here. I've never seen anything like it. So we were just in the National Gallery of England, I think. And the artworks were painted with such detail and precision while the roof was like encrusted in gold and it was so pretty and just interesting to look at all of the historical moments that all these artists painted. inside right now but as you can see they're just painting the lawn and everything to try and keep it for tourists.
is the River Thames and there is also the Tower Bridge. And the Tower Bridge is um, one of the most iconic bridges here in London. And it's been criticized a lot for the way it looks and critics have been saying that it looks too pretentious. I don't know, maybe it's because it's blue. But I think that it's really a beautiful sight. What's on your right? Or in your left? Um, it's a really... There are a group of statues. One is golden. And I think that they're to honor some other British members that we should honor. <laughs> uh huh. That's all they do, they just keep walking and marching and walking and marching all day. 